Hey guys, Dave here. Welcome to the Centurions Review, the punk rock band of war game review institutions. This is The Ironclads, a tactical game of naval combat in the American Civil War, 1861 through 1865 from Excalibur Games. It's the second edition. This is the second time I own this game. I'm not sure what the edition the first one was, but I never got a chance to play it and they end up selling it, so hopefully I'll get a chance to play this one. I believe this is unpunched, but... So it features ship-to-ship -ship combat, individual gun firing, simultaneous movement, ship specif specification cards for 90 classes of ships. That's kind of cool. So let's see what's in here. It says solitaire suitability is a 7 and complexity is about a, around a 7 too. Alright. Rule book looks pretty professional. It's got... 108 pages. Looks like the rules go up to page 67 and after that there's scenarios. So there's 15 scenarios. That's good. So you're going to get a lot of replayability out of this. And you better for uh, 67 pages of rules. Uh, if you have to read that much, you better get a lot of replayability out of it. So let's just take a quick glance through here. Starts with an introduction going over game components. The counters. Got a lot of informational counters too. Select basic concepts of the game set up in preparation for play. It's going over how to fill out the log sheet. And now there's a basic, so it looks like there's going to be a basic and advanced game. That's good. So you don't have to read all the rules to start playing. It looks like you can just read about the basic rules and get into the game and later on learn the more advanced rules. That's a good idea. Damage to engines. Not too much writing on each page either, so it's not as much writing as you'd get like on a standard size rule book. It's got an introductory game. That's good. All right, so if you're going to play this game, you got to put in a little bit of work reading the rules. Let's see. Looks like there's two maps that came with. But I can figure out how to open them. Oops. All right, so that actually looks pretty good for a naval map. I'm used to naval maps just being blue. That's it. So this at least looks kind of interesting. Looks like, unfortunately, even though this game hasn't been played, it's already ripping there on the map. That sucks. Oh, it looks like actually it's made to rip in half the map. Interesting. I guess you can just play it with small sections. Let's see what the other map looks like. I'm r oh, this one ripped in half too. So yeah, it's just made to. There we go. I'm doing a lot of work on the website today and making some videos because I was supposed to go scuba diving, but as luck would have it, there was a thunderstorm in Illinois, so couldn't dive in Illinois. In Indiana had a heavy storm, so out there they're not going to let you dive either. And then Wisconsin was having storms, so everywhere I could possibly, every state I could have dove in today did not have weather that was suitable for scuba diving, so oh well. Alright, the counters look alright. They're all single sided, that's okay. Generally in naval games, uh, the ships don't have steps. You usually keep track of the damage on a piece of paper, so... Yeah, they look alright. Got information about... Oh, nice cards for each ship. Here's a USS Chicksaw. Yeah, I think they did a good job component-wise. Dice look nice. Looks like we got some charts here. 
Yeah, combat shirts. Ramming table, all sorts of stuff. Burning vessel table. Everything you would expect uh, from a game like this. Let's see what the log sheet looks like. Log sheet seems to be made of a slippery material, so you can use dry erase or wet erase markers on it. You won't have to photocopy it. That's nice. This right here looks like little forts you cut out and put on the map. And you have two sets of templates here, I guess, for figuring out arcs of fire and so forth. It's nice they have one for each player. All kind of dust and stuff in this box. Let's see if I can get this out. All right, Ironclad's gun tables for all forts and battery guns. Another combat table chart, so the second player has one. That's good. And I just wanted to show you guys this. Uh, I'll, uh, hopefully sometime I'll get a chance to try it. I'd hate for me to, like I said, this is the second copy I've had of it. The first copy I sold without ever trying. Hopefully I'll get a chance to try this one too. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please click like on it. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to this channel. And as always, have a good evening.